family, how's it going? So today is Andy's five month update and I'm a little bit late. I like she turned five months old on the seventh, today's the ninth and I have never ever been late. I've always done her updates the day that she turns that many months old, always, or weeks. Even when she was one, two, you know, the weeks that I did there a while back, I even did that like on the money. <laughs> so to get right into this update, as far as her stats, her height and weight, like I always do, first thing, uh, she just recently had an appointment. It was right after Curly's birthday, which was the 17th. I'm pretty sure we went to that appointment on the 22nd. Yes, 21st? 21st, 22nd, I, it's one of those days. I can't remember which one. I wanna say the 22nd, but we did her measurements then and she was 24 and a half inches tall, which I'm sorry, I just don't 100% believe because doctors do, or at least our office does that thing where they put a notch at their head, you know, and then they put a notch at their feet and it's on paper, which crinkles and I just don't think it's 100% accurate. I really believe that she's more like 25 inches, but hey, hey, doctor says 24 and a half, so okay. And her weight is 13 pounds and 15 ounces. Y'all, that is almost, just, I mean just a few ounces shy, almost three pounds more than what Kinley weighed at five and a half months old. I am so happy. like. I was really, really um, panicked and paranoid that I would have a repeat of Kenley with Andy because I was wanting to be successful at breastfeeding, but I exclusively breastfed Kenley for the first five and a half months and she just did not grow at all. She actually went backwards. She went from the 10th percentile to the third and she was only um, 11 pounds and three and a half ounces if I remember correctly at five and a half months old. That's little, you guys. There are babies born at 10 pounds, 10 pounds. So <laughs> she was tiny. And I mean, if you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that red button down there because I have an update on Kinley coming up next month for her birthday. And oh, oh, oh guys, guys, I, I have some stuff to talk about. It's gonna be a doozy of an update because just, oh, you're just, there's just a lot going on with Kenley, and I have a lot to talk about. So, if I mean, if you want to hit that notification bell, by all means, because you want to watch this when it comes up, because it's kind of a, it's going to be quite the doozy of an update, and I've got mixed emotions about all of it. But anyway, to get back to Miss Andy, milestones. This little girl is dying to sit up. She wants to so bad, she can't stand herself. It's like the only thing that calms her down anymore, even when you put her on your belly. She'll be content on her belly for a little bit, and she'll be all right, and then she gets fussy. But she's not fussy enough to go to sleep. She's just fussy. So then you set her up, and you let her look around, and oh, she's just happy as can be. She's like, what is this? So she's really wanting to sit up. I got a feeling that she's going to do it in the next four to six weeks-ish. I think Carly sat up for the first time and started being an um, unsupported sitter when she was, I think it was a week or two shy of her being six months old. I think it was a week. Yeah, I think it was a week shy of her being six months old that Carly sat up unsupported. So I'm pretty sure that Andy is going to follow in that same pattern. Also, when she is on her belly, she can pull her head all the way up and look around and she's not so head jerky anymore where they jerk their head down. Doesn't really do that so much anymore. She still refuses to roll. Like if you lay her on the floor, she won't do it. She refuses. But if you put her in her bed, oh, she'll roll for you. Like, oh yeah, she'll do it. Because she uh, wants to roll from her belly to her back now. Yeah, many, many times. Actually, I think every time that I go to get her from sleeping during the night or a nap or whatever, she's on her back <laughs> or on her side, one of the two. And I'm like, uh, I'm glad you can do it in this. I wish you would do it on the floor. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she can do it. She also does that thing where she follows moving objects with her eyes. She does that. Um, she also gets excited now when she sees her bottle. She'll like kick her feet and <laughs> she makes that noise. 
Anyway, she is very talkative, loves to coo and like babble at you and oh she just she just loves that. And she'll just get excited and like laugh if you make, you know, funny faces or funny sounds or anything like that. She just eats it up. She loves it. So I'm kind of hoping that she'll also say her first word in the next month or two ish. I'm really hoping. Oh she's all done. Are you all done? Say hi everybody. Say hi, fam. Hi, mountain fam. You gonna smile? Smile. As far as clothing, she's borderline three to six month clothes to six to nine. If she's wearing a cloth diaper, she's in six to nine month clothes. If she's wearing a disposable, she's in three to six. <laughs> a new experience for Andy this month. She had her very first vacation. I mean, it's on my channel if you want to watch it. But uh, we went to Columbus Zoo in Zumbezi Bay. And we just had a very fun 4th of July. We went the 3rd and the 4th. So we just had a really fun weekend. And I mean, she slept through most of it. And I didn't really get a whole lot of um, footage of Andy because she was either sleeping or crying because she was hot. So we tried to cool her down. We got a blanket and a fan. And she was just not really, <laughs> not really having it. Kind of like you're not having it right now. You always get angry in this position. You always want me to hold you just like this. Every time. Huh. But she did actually get into the water a little bit at Zumbezi Bay, but she wasn't like really into it, so nobody took it there for very long. And they did that when I was going on a ride with Hannah, my sister. So, <laughs> I didn't get any footage of that sad day. But she actually did it for a little bit until she just was not having it. So that's a new experience. And she is like convinced that she's going to like hoop, hoop, just right over there. She is not wanting. What are you doing? What's down there? Huh? I don't want to be in your arms. I want to be on the floor. Oh, you're a princess. You are. You really think you're a princess. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, because Andy is really interested in sitting up, I am looking into getting her an exorcisor. I'm hoping to get that. And if not this payday, it'll be next. So if not in the next couple of days, in the next two weeks. I need to get her one ASAP because she will love it. She will just love it. And it's got that, you know, it's a seat, so it's got like a back to it. So if she flings herself backwards, there's something to catch her, it'll be okay. But I always, when I put my babies in extra saucers, when they're like, you know, just learning to support themselves, um, I, I, I always sit right beside of them and I put a blanket on their back to kind of like, just give them a little extra support. And I usually stay very close to them <laughs> until they start having that, you know, good support with their back. So I will probably do that with Andy as well. Oh, I just realized that I totally forgot to tell you guys her schedule. Oh, oh did I, don't I normally do this right after stats? I think I do, oh, I just forgot. Anyway, okay, so her schedule. Miss Andy's typical schedule, she goes to bed anywhere between 10 and midnight. It really depends on when she had her last bottle. If she had her last bottle at eight o'clock, I wake her up at midnight to have another bottle and then she goes down for the night. But if she had her last bottle like 10, she's just down for the night. So it really just depends. Uh, it's either or most nights. And she wakes up in the morning anywhere between 8.30 and nine. Usually it's 8.30, <laughs> but I do have my occasional day where what are you doing? She's like pushing her leg right on this side of the table, like pushing it off. She's, she wants to go over there so bad. And I just won't let her, I know. So she wakes up in the morning anywhere between 8.30 and 9. And she's having longer awake periods now. Now she wants to be awake for like one, two, three hours. Usually more than one hour. <laughs> it's like two to three. Let's see. This morning she woke up at nine and um, I got her, got her changed, got her bottle, fed her, and after noon, it was like right at noon, she was still awake. Like, like it was fine. That's like three hours. So she's having 
much longer awake periods. She's not really reaching for toys or playing with anything yet. She's not doing that. So when she is awake, it's basically practicing um, tummy time, like pushing her, you know, her neck up and practicing those muscles, or I help her practice sitting up. She's gonna talk. Is she gonna talk? Talk to everybody. Say, I'm going to talk to you guys. So she'll stay up until like noon or one, and then she'll have another bottle, and oh, and usually after that bottle, that's when she takes a nap. And she'll nap until uh, four, I wanna say, and then she'll have another bottle, she'll be awake for a while, and it's kinda like that, until 10 or midnight, somewhere in there. So that is basically her schedule. I think she might be ready to go down for a nap. So let me put her down and then I will do my postpartum update. Okay, so physically, um, I'm off depo. The last day of my depo to still be in my system. My doctor said that actually the depo is still in your system after the technical last day, but it's iffy. It's like, don't be having unprotected sex because there's a possibility you could be getting pregnant, but at the same time, you might not. Do you want to gamble? No, I don't. So my, the last technical day of my depo uh, was June 17th, Carly's third birthday. So, uh, so I ha don't have anything in my system right now. I don't have any kind of birth control because I'm waiting for the pharmacy to call me about my Paragard being in because I am getting that. I've learned that my body just does not do well with long-term hormonal birth control. Mentally speaking, everything is about the same. I've been seeing a therapist, so she's really been helping, and I still don't get to see a psychologist, oh, psychiatrist, I'm so sorry, until October. They have me on the cancellation list. It's just, we just have a lot of people who need to see a psychiatrist and not enough of them. So there's very long waiting lists. And they put you, I mean, they put me on a cancellation list and they actually called me Thursday, this past Thursday, and Devin was on day shift and they go, we have an opening tomorrow at three o'clock if you want to come in. And I'm like, I wish that I could. I wish my husband wasn't on day shift or I would snatch that up in a heartbeat. Oh my gosh, would I? So it's still October that I'm seeing somebody to get put on medication and to see if it helps and to help regulate my moods because I just really need it. And now I'm going to show you guys my postpartum belt. Uh, and now I'm going to show you guys my postpartum body at five months postpartum. And I know I've showed you guys my body before uh, when I lost 20 pounds. Honestly, I haven't lost any more weight. I'm still 155, but I feel like I've lost inches. These black shorts, the ones here, I'll just show you. I could stand up for a second. These ones, the ones that I wear like in all of my daily life vlogs, because they're what fit, they're now not gonna fit. <laughs> they're starting to get loose. I now have to tie them or they like fall right off if I walk too fast or something. It's kind of funny. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my body at five months postpartum. Okay, I hope y'all can hear me. That's kind of far away. But this is what I look like at five months postpartum. This is the front. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of like standing on books that are about like that thick because I would be too low if I didn't. So this is kind of awkward, but this is the side. So I guess I'm gonna stand like this because it's like the most comfortable. This is the side. Don't know where to ever place my hands, whether I should do this or this, or if I should dance, I don't know. But this side, the back, which isn't really that interesting, let's just be honest. This side. Still, don't know what to do with my hands. I have, I'm clueless. And the front, oh, shirt up, because I'm just not ashamed of my mom body. So, nothing. Okay, so from the front, and the side, oh wow, these are getting loose, these pants, oh. <laughs> I 
I love how you can see me jiggle in like every turn that I do. You can see it like move a little. <laughs> That's attractive. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because really, Kenley and her two year old update, <laughs> I've got so much to talk about and it's so important and you're just gonna wanna watch this update. You can follow me on social media. My links are also down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys.